We got Nardowick's bodyguard punching the fan for asking for a picture. The guy now has a concussion and brain bleeding. Let's go over to my little handy dandy notebook here. So the rapper Nardo Wick, right, who's known for the hit song, Who Wants Smoke? Or should I just keep it a bean, bro? That song ain't even all that good. This white boy here showed up to the concert, 20 years old. He approaches Nardo Wick. We can't show this on YouTube. Like, I might be able to, sh I'm, I'm going to leave it alone. I don't feel like dealing with it, man, because sometimes even on these little stream joints, bro, they be kicking the stream and say, everybody get on the ground. I don't feel like dealing with that. Bro, he goes up to the Nardo Wick. He's like, yo, can I get a team or can I get a pick? The nigga got hit so hard, bro. He was knocked out on his feet. You think that would deter people from continuing to hit him? It did not. At that point, the other nigga hit him again. They hit him like three, four times. We got to pull the clip up, man. Hold on. Do I got the clip? I had to, I'm going to have to uh, blur this part. But Is this the clip? Yeah, he knocked out. Look, he knocked out. The dude come up behind him. He hits him, sucker. I can't stand niggas that sucker punch. This is why, like, honestly, bro, like, if I'm around uncomfortable people where it's like, you just, they just seem sketch. I don't want anybody standing behind me at all. This is why when people just stand behind me, like, I, I, I have like this, just, I just got this thing where it's like, I have to see everybody in the room. I don't want nobody behind me. I don't want anybody at my backside, bro. Cause look at this. He gets hit. He's asking for a pick. Now, it's clear. It's like, it's so clear that the dude is a non-threat at this exact moment. You know what's wild, right? I've done some research on this. Look at the guy's stats real fast. Because the guy plays soccer. This is this is him. As of two years ago, we know he didn't change this much in weight. Like, he won 42. He's playing soccer. Two years. He, I mean, going off this pick with him and his dad here he looks like he it don't look like he gained much mass like so i'll probably say what maybe 160 maybe like this kid is not 175 maybe 160 but he's 5'9 142 what does this guy's just based off his size he's there's no nice way to say it like he's kind of got like victim size right you know he's a small dude he gets hit he's obviously knocked out on his feet i don't know what this nigga's problem is this dude just, at that point, unleashes a bunch of flurries, hits him like four times, push him back. You can see his head bounce off the concrete somewhat. Let's play a game, right? I can't even play the game because y'all can see it at the top. I was going to say, do you think he's cooperating with police to even and let them know? Or do you think an in-house conversation has been had with the homies? Like, yo, bro, you making me look bad. Hey, man, you did what you had to do. I'll put some money on your books. You won't you have to eat that charge. Or is niggas staying silent? What do you think? I, I mean, I don't really know what to make of it. Like, it's just it's just frustrating to see because I've seen, uh, like, I was reading some things and some people was like, yo, was the guy supposed to be back there? As if, like, you know how niggas say shit in a certain way where it's like, I mean, you know, it's messed up how that happened, but, you know, if he wasn't supposed to be in the back asking for a pick, that wouldn't happen. Has me looking around the room like, what are we saying right now? Because I, I've told y'all this story several times, right? I've told y'all the story of my cousin got jumped when he was 15 years old coming home from school some dudes jumped him robbed him knocked him out kicked him in the head over time you know he just he started losing in he started losing in skills his ability to speak went down like right now i'm telling you it scares the shit out of me because like when i see what when i see what brain damage does long term it scares me bro like because anytime i've ever seen him bro anytime anytime somebody's talking to him in the family is only yes or no questions they ask him they can only ask him yes or no questions. So it's like, and then they got to yell it in his ear when they next to him. And then this is how he looks all the time. Hold on, let me cut the cam on. So his his shoulders lean forward. I'm not like, I'm not trying to make a joke. His shoulders, his shoulders lean forward. He kind of sit like this and he just be having the same look. Maybe like, yo, Steve, you good? Yeah. Steve, you hungry? Yeah. Like everything is like a Windows 98. You ask him, then he got to respond in like 20 seconds type shit. And when you hear a nigga get his head busted in because he get in a fight, low key, it's like, bro, what? It make you say like, man, if I want to fight, I will be signing up for boxing matches. I will sign up for MMA, Taekwondo. I'm not fighting no nigga on the street. Did they find the people who knocked and jumped your cousin? No, man. We talking about DC and the, <laughs> we talking about DC in the fucking what? 90s, 80s, this might have happened then. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how old he is now, but we talking about DC like years ago. Hell no, they didn't catch the people that did that to him. 
But ever since then, everything just went down. Like his quality, his him getting kicked in his head and jumped, his quality of life went down from him being 15 years old. And that situation happening to him. When you think about what caused that interaction, it's scary as fuck. Like, prime example, one time at 4th of July, man, this nigga on the front lawn, bro, he pulled his dick out and started pissing right on the front lawn, bro. The only way you can babysit him, like, if you want to babysit him, and he loves himself some cigarettes. So if you want him to sit in one spot and not to be walking around and touching shit, give him a cigarette, and he be, and he be in the one spot. He be hitting the cigarette like this. And they be like, yo, you good? You enjoying that cigarette? Yeah. It scares the shit out of me. <laughs> like, it, like, what? Like, this nigga was walking around cracking jokes, being a normal human being like me, and somebody hit him in the head wrong, and then since then, he completely different. Like, mannerisms change, personality change. Fuck that, man. And you going to a concert, and we don't know what long term, like, this, this is the thing. I don't think, like, it's always, I never really understood this, and I think maybe because I've had a family member that I was able to see the other side of like some of these online ass whoopings. Cause you remember back in the day on world star, bro, dudes used to be getting punished on world star Dude get knocked out and they keep hitting, kicking, like just like dudes, a town stomping on each other's skulls back then. And when you see a dude who's clearly stunned, like he's clearly hurt. And then y'all niggas keep going. It's just frustrating to see, bro. It's frustrating to see the dad, not cool. Or the dad saying Nardo wick ain't cooperating. You got Nardo Wicks. Hold on, let me go back over to my little handy dandy notebook here. You got Nardo Wicks mama. You know, she got time to she got time to post up her her bad shaped body with a BBL and some titties, but they can't go over to <laughs> they can't go over to the news station or the police station to say who was getting hit. But she built like something out of ants. It's I don't get it, son. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's so weird to me, man. It's weird. It's just cornball shit. Like, the entire shit is cornball because, let's keep it a being, niggas is not going to like this, but hey, it is what it is. Me and Nardo Wick got the same background, bro. This is not a, we're not dealing with a street nigga here. Like, this is a nigga that's playing street. And because, unfortunately, there's these unwritten rules with this fucking stupid rap shit that somebody can really get fucking hurt. That he's not going to say anything. What I've realized with this, sometimes you got to like get that bag a little bit to get niggas to, to switch up. So I don't want him to lose money. Let that record label lose some money a little bit. Because when the record label get hit, then they're going to sit him down. They're going to, you have, I don't know who's the, who, who's this nigga signed to? RCA Records. You already know what game we about to play, y'all. You already know what game, you know where I'm going with this. Peter Edge. Peter Edge, somebody call that black motherfucker in here right now. <laughs> Nardo, we can't have this happening. Because 100%, if somebody hit me in my head and I'm sitting there all stunned up and you niggas can't, I can't even get justice. I can't even get justice. You can't even, like, you you can't even be a man and give me justice. Your mama, because let's keep it a bean. They probably panicking behind the scenes. Your mama not talking to you. Or she she not telling you, son, do the right thing. Because she got a BB. She been in the club. Hey, let's play a game, y'all. Let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. Scroll to the bottom. I already did all this off stream. So I already know. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom. This is December 15th, 2014. Nardo Wick was 12 years old. His mom in the club with a drink in one hand and Ciroc, <laughs> some Ciroc in the other. If it weren't for the fact Nardo blowing up right now, she wouldn't have, I, she, she might have an ass, but she might still have a body, but she wouldn't have the clown body she got now. And they get actual security, man. Like, like these niggas is retarded or something. I don't get it. Like, and it's crazy. It, I don't even want to say, it, it. it's not surprising to me that he's retarded. Just listen to what the nigga says in some things. Like, I'm going to tell you when I became a part of the, like, hey, I'm dodging the Nardo Wick bomb, right? Because it's, it's, there's certain people, right, that you see their, their upbringing and it's kind of like you don't expect, I don't expect anything more of them because of the upbringing, right? So you will see King Von, they have, they have King Von mugshots from when the, the dude is damn near 10, C-Day 22 who's rapping over jail jail phones, they got his mug shots from he's eight. Like anybody from the Chicago scene, the sad part about a lot of that is you can see their mug shots going all the way back to when they're little kids. 
Some even as like little as seven years old. I'm trying to think who was it that was like seven. I, I think it might be FBG Duck's brother, Brick, that you can see them as young as seven years old getting hit with like shoplifting, uh, lifting picks and stuff like that, which is really sad to think about. Now, I want y'all to go try to find anything Nardo Wick pre him coming out and having a hit song with who who wants smoke. The dude's clearly an industry plant. You know, if I was a hyper woke nigga, I would say this nigga is a WMD. He's a weapon of mass destruction sent by a little hat man with beady eyes and a somewhat enlarged nose to destroy brothers and sisters behind a hot hip hop beat. But I don't want to do that because I don't want that type of audience subbing to me and saying, spit that fire, my brother. And then we got to do some hotep shit. I don't want to be a part of that. I want a nigga to play video games every now and again, say some crazy shit here and there, and I just want to be left alone. That's what I want to do. I just like, I, I'm just saying, hold on, I didn't finish my thing. How I knew this nigga was a cornball was all the way back in, where was it at? Is it this one? No, it's not this one. Where's, y'all know what clip I'm talking about where the dude said, it was like the first clip that I don't know, you know how when people want clips to do well, but they do a little too well and niggas sitting there like, hey, yo, man, I don't really know. Oh man, I just had the clip up. Do I not have it? Here it is. It's this clip. Whereas I, I I don't know if I I'm gonna play it, but it's it pretty much what's happening in this clip. God, leave this lady looking at the camera hard as a motherfucker, bro. You see how hard she looking at the cam? He did not want to be there that day to do this shit. He's pretty much saying that why would he get a job? They had just robbed the niggas with the jobs. I'm telling you, this this is what this sounds bad, right? This is not a good thing. What I'm describing because the rap music has become so authentic that you can see like, yo, let's keep it a bean. Hold on, hold on. Let me pull up Pooh Shiesty. Pooh Shiesty ankle monitor. You can see Pooh Shiesty with an ankle monitor on as a little ass kid, bro. Like, oh no, no. Is this Pooh Shiesty? Hold on. Oh, Pooh Shiesty. I think this is. What's that? Yes. This is Pooh Shiesty as a little kid with an ankle monitor on, son. Like, this is legitimately sad. This is sad. But you can see, like, same with Tay K. You can sort of see, like, their environment molded them. When we look at Lil RT, when we look at Lil RT, come on, bro. The nigga's coming out. He's nine. He's spewing BS. He has a music video. It's like he's, the collabs almost seem strategic. I'm just going to ask y'all. Do you think Lil RT has parents that are strategically pushing him in a direction that can help him reach a rap career? Yes or no? I'm going to say yes. This isn't 22 G's. Go look at 22 G's new song. 22 G's, you can see, has an up and down. He released a song two days ago that has 93,000 views. Go look at anything and how, how, what's this nigga name again? Nardo Wick came out. It's not, it's not authentic. It's, it's not authentic at all. It's 100% industry pushed. You, you know when niggas try to run defense? Like, I mean, that's, that's not Nardo's fault. He, you know, he was saying chill to the guys. No, Nardo needs to lose a bag. Because if he's not going to understand the consequences of this shit. Because it makes, again, it, I told y'all why it makes me mad. My cousin is walking around. You can only ask the nigga yes or no. Nigga comes, I'm going to be honest with you. If I'm at 4th of July and he's sitting down by me, I'm, I'm getting up in five minutes. It, it freaks me out, son. It freaks me out. Because I'm sitting here thinking, some niggas, some niggas beat and stomped him and he like this. Niggas pulled out the de-evolution serum and said, we turning you into a caveman. I'm looking, making cont eye contact with y'all as all my sentences is going away. My name Robert. You put me in a fucking, in a caveman thong with a hammer and I'm just trying to go around make fire all day? Y'all niggas looking through the glass like, what's Rob doing now? I think he's trying to make fire. No, hell no, bro. This, I'm telling y'all niggas need to get guns. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to incite violence. Seriously, invest in your own protection. If you don't want to get a gun, I don't want to kill nobody, big Rob. Get your, where the pepper gel at? I ain't got the pepper gel by me, but it's over there. Get yourself some pepper gel. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not fighting. I'm not tussling. I'm not doing all that. Niggas turn you into pickle out of Baki. You went there saying like, yeah, man, that's Janet over there. That's my girl, man. We've been together five years. And then these niggas turn you into this guy. They turn you into pickle. You ain't even got the muscles. You walking around pissing and shitting everywhere. Mama got to wipe your butt now. Like, I'm good off that. Nah. And this, and this nigga, his mama can't even tell. I know he didn't have a daddy in the life. But his mama who, his mama who gonna do it all on her own, can't even tell her son, hey son, it's time to be a man and you need to make your friends be held accountable. Mama can't even do that. She need the BBL and the titties. Chill out, Rob. It's not his mama's fault. It really is, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm chill out. But it's just, uh, did I close my link? I closed my link, didn't I? I closed my, did I close my link?
it's all good we open it back up because we don't again you know niggas be like yo he good we don't know what type of long term you never see this is the thing with the online i'm, I'm not even playing you never see the long-term effects what of brain damage we never see that shit we never see it we go to world star right now we watch two niggas fight to the death somebody stomp and kick the other dude you know you know what happens when we look at that what happens when we look at that we watch the vid we say damn the nigga scream world star and then that's it we don't see in five years how that shit might have changed dude's personality how dude may have developed a stuttering issue how dude didn't have anxiety the ptsd of getting your ass whipped like that must be damning your masculinity play with i remember reading charlemagne the guy's book and he was talking about how a dude whipped his ass so bad when he was young and could have really killed him but he didn't in front of i think i can't remember if it was in front of a woman but he said he went into one of the little trailers because he lived in the trailer park he said he went in one of the little trailers and cried like in the fetal position and that's like yo that's like low-key sad bro oh yeah no nardo wick is 100 percent ffb it's just nardo wick ain't a thug nigga try to find nardo wick anything about him pre before he comes out you don't see anything and then they try to do this mysterious, oh, he keeps his his uh, his past private. No, the nigga keeps his past private because if 100%, if he was on some thugged out shit like this, as sad as this is, where is it at? Is it, hold on. If he was on some thugged out shit like this, as sad as it is, you 100% know they would put it up because they're doing it with Vaughn. They think that shit is cool. Like, they, it's it's sad, but they it's, it's messed up. But this is like low key. If you're trying to make rap music and you're trying to show that you're coming from the trenches and all that other bullshit, this is a flex, Loki. Now, the nigga got a rolly. It just happens to be on his ankle. It's like, it's, like it's, 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 it's messed up, but it is what it is, right? Because let's be real. Like, the reason why some of these dudes do this, like, mysterious, they don't want their past to be talked about, like, is again, and I, I gotta keep saying this. This is not a good thing. It's not, a, it's, it's, it's truly sad that Pooh Shiesty came from an environment where niggas set him up for failure that he got, like, an ankle monitor on. Same with Tay K that like he's coming from an environment both his parents like some of these dudes are ffb bro like they didn't get out of the starting area I, I don't know what happened this is another reason why i'm like i'm like man the audio ain't matching the visual when it comes to this dude it's because a lot of times in this hip-hop shit if somebody isn't quote-unquote real or they're they're studio thugging and shit and all that bullshit remember what happened to slim jesus where people running down on him they trying to sun you non-stop they putting his arm around him trying to little boy him he a grown man another grown man trying to trying to sun another grown man because maybe he feel he not supposed to be in the position he in but slim jesus at the time was making music that some people messed with even if they were memeing it like not all the tracks were that bad like the guy had the ability to put a song together it's just he had a very particular look right that made it easy for niggas to try him and this nigga don't want to be in that situation. So that's why they be trying to keep the 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 past private. This is a big reason why going a little left, but it's sort of in the same realm. I don't know how many of y'all niggas know who this is, but Trench Baby, this is Polo G's brother. Why everybody's like making fun of him in the last week or so, because Polo G did, he was, he was lyrically gifted enough to get his family out of a low income environment, right? Has a home in LA, million dollar home his brother is living out there with him and setting up people in the industry to get robbed saying like hey polo g's over here why don't you come listen to music come hang out with us for a bit the person's like all right cool i'll come hang out and then he's there polo g is not there and he's robbing you it's like the 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 older brother literally put in work so the younger brother don't got to be a dickhead a, a, a retard and the little motherfucker running around drooling on everything my name Trent Baby as he putting a gun in your face telling you take that shit off and you know what's happening to him right now he's currently locked up for a murder in LA he killed somebody out there or that's what they're alleging that he did they saying he killed somebody out there and he's currently in holding hey man if this nigga get charged for this and sentenced bro put this nigga away for like let's let's just go hang him 50 years some of these niggas bro you got youth you got like you got youth you have such a advantage from where you're coming from and you're not supposed to like ever survive it you get out of it and then you want to go into a new area with the tactics you learn from the old area not even attempt something new and do the shit at a higher level like hey we was just some regular niggas let's be some super niggas over here hey since you want to be a super nigga let's go ahead and put him in a super cell bro let's put him in a cell it ain't regular bars in them man them, them bars made out of adamantium you ain't never getting out this box like, this is why I say, time needs to break some of these niggas, bro. Put them in a box, let them sit there, let them marinate, let them stink. 
Only thing that's looking good in there is the Geechee in the cell across the hall, <laughs> across the way from him. That's the only thing they even look like a female. That's like, that's all you looking at all day is that, is that Geechee ass nigga. Rob, did you see my link of Nardo explaining what happened? What can Nardo possibly say that don't sound like he fucking chewing on rocks, bro? That happened. I don't stand for that situation to happen. I was fully on what that situation was about to take place. No, he don't fucking act like he, him saying this is going to, like, I, I didn't know it was going to happen. Okay, you know what, Nardo? My brain is swelled up, and now I can't really chew right, and I talk with a lisp. So that's okay, Nardo. You didn't know better. Thanks, man. I'll continue to listen to to to, to all your new mixtapes and albums. Can I get a picture now? After you niggas done bounce my head off the concrete. Thanks. Thanks, I guess. Came for a picture, ended up in the infirmary. Yeah, man. As soon as it happened, I tried to de-escalate the situation. And after the situation, I, I, I got in contact with his mama. I sent him my number. I called, asked how he was doing. I told her I'd do anything to make it up to him as a fan. You feel me? I, I told her to keep me updated on his health. And, and and it ain't about trying to stop nothing from happening because I don't want to get sued. with nothing. It ain't none of that. You feel? I, I genuinely care about the fan. That's all I'm worrying about right now. I don't give a damn about it. Like, wait, everybody talking about, talking about, sue, sue, sue. I don't care about that. They're they going to do it. They got to do it. They do it. They do it. You feel me? Right now, I'm worrying about the fan. Man, she's straight. And I, you feel me? I just want him to know that. I ain't condone that. I ain't want that to happen. That ain't how I treat my fans. I love my fans. You feel me? I don't rock like that at all. You feel me? I wasn't gangster. I wasn't cool. I ain't know that was gonna happen. You feel me? I didn't expect that to happen. I love all my fans. I welcome all my fans with open arms. You feel me? After the situation happened, I was mad as hell. You feel me? I got in contact with his mama that same night. I checked on him. I asked. I told her anything he need. You feel me? I got him before anything was posted, before any video was seen, before any blog was posted, before she posted anything. Then I reached out to her. I checked on him. You feel me? I told her I got up, got got him whatever he need me to do. You feel me? To make it. Up I got him everything they need, but he can't talk to the police. I know that shit sounds crazy. I know somebody will be watching this like, oh, yes, he can't talk to the police, big brother. You don't see the bigger picture? We don't talk to cops. But it's just like, hey, the one thing we need you to do, can we get justice for the for the dudes that damn near almost killed him? All right, man. This, this is all I got to say, man. I've said everything I need to say about Nardo Wick. I've said everything I need to say. I'm going to go back to pretending this nigga don't exist, bro. All right. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to pretending he don't exist.